crumpet butter, so shake that booty. Good afternoon, Aggies, and welcome to Aggie Now. <laughs> the future is upon us, Aggies, and it's in the form of 3D ultrasound technology, co-founded by our own UC Davis engineering professor, David Horsley, who is a part of Chirp Microsystems out in Berkeley. So the purpose of 3D technology is to allow users to play music, check emails, or home screens with a wave of a hand. By using a small chip designed to recognize gestures, it provides echolocation to electronic devices. So bats and dolphins use the same method to detect where they are. Now these sensors are set to be installed in about 20, in 2017 and will be available on smartphones, tablets, Apple watches, and even drones. So we just go like that and it, yeah. oh my gosh. And you do different things with so it. People are gonna get friendlier. Yeah. Iron Man. Yeah. 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 If they just yeah. wave over. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. Yeah. 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 And what's That's... cool about it is like they started um, in 2013, so it's kind of like been like a, a long process to like get to where we are now. That's actually able to be consumed by people in 2017. I wonder how expensive it's gonna be. I hope that it's kind of like affordable. At least like some of the test stuff would be. But I think it's really cool. So. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be on like the next Apple iPhone. Like it'll it'll eventually be like Apple will eventually buy this company or buy this the product name and then they'll put it in their technology. Yeah. Just like Apple yeah. always does stuff like that. Like yeah. remember when they did the the touch screen or the touch of thumb so that it would unlock your phone? Yeah. And they bought that because it was like an up and coming technology. So, yeah. And then a lot of apps have like you can shake your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know like on Bumble like like you can shake back yeah. or shake forward. And just imagine like having a watch and just being like, let me just check all my messages. <laughs> just going like this. And I think that would be, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Magic. Is there like a keyboard? You can like type it in the air. That's probably where it's going to go. You're probably going to like have someone like pop up from your screen. Like some have a little like, hologram. Like, so like, like Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. This week we have a special on the go segment with our anchor Sabrina Sanchez in order to celebrate the end of the quarter and the start of summer. We asked Aggies, what was your favorite memory this year? Probably going home. Yeah. <laughs> or um, probably the beginning of the year, fall quarter, like meeting all the new people, like making just totally new friends. That was fun. I directed two student written shows, and then I also performed in one. First time I went to Islamic Center, I was like really, really welcome there. Um, a guy named Jamel was like, like showed me around and talked to me for like hours. Mm -hmm. Picnic day? Yeah, <laughs> probably picnic day. I think would be getting into the my acapella group, the Liquid Hot Plates. My favorite moment this year yeah. thus so far has been working here at the City Recovery Center. And, yeah. I had a lot of fun uh, making a lot of friends in the club that I'm in, which is the Aggie Music Store. Uh, getting coffee. <laughs> getting coffee? <laughs> I love dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I saw a dog was my favorite moment. <laughs> or when I bonded with the physics cat. It's not yet to come. I guess it's the time when the final is done. <laughs> favorite moment of the year was when I got a, in, I got an internship at the dairy and I was able to learn how to halt to breed cattle. And I was able to work for them for the entire quarter and I feel like I really learned a lot from you know being at the dairy and it really guided me to what I want to do with my animals in the future. The most favorite moment was last night when I go when I went to go see Bernie. <laughs> I studied abroad this year, so uh, I've got lots of good memories of train stations and plane rides and just walking around the streets of foreign cities. It was awesome. Have you all seen that our very own Chancellor Linda Katehi is now on Tinder? Tinder is a dating app used by a wide majority of our students here on campus, and I'm sure. Most of you are familiar with it, but if you're not, uh, all you basically do is either you swipe right or you swipe left hey. on a picture <laughs> of someone, and if someone else swipes right on your picture, then it's a match. Well, Katehi's, Katehi's Tinder profile reads as follows. Age, 21, bio, hire me, looking for a relationship with transparency, of all parties, and no secrets. <laughs> No. no. No, seriously. I mean, of course it's a joke, but like, seriously. I have like a strict so thing good. for like, you know, 22 and up. 
so I'm kind of not. <laughs> so she's okay, off the he's list. Not your type. Unfortunately, good is not my type. So it's the age that makes yeah, her not your type. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, you know, the older you are, it's according to our director, the more, seven, ex- the more mature your age you plus have. Seven. That's the rule. Find That's your type now. Wait, what's, wait, what's half the your, rule? Half your age plus seven. Half your age plus seven, or else it's weird. Wait, so how old are you? I'm 21, so okay. So it'd be so like half is, is 18 up. or something okay. like that. Eight, so that's the like, like the, where, the youngest still go. Yeah, we're that like, probably and then society be will because be after like, that it's kind of illegal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. All right, Nika. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, but um, how many of you like how like have any of you ever had like not to like you know kind of put this out there, but have you ever kind of like used Tinder or do you think like it's something have you would not use? Had not had a reason. Have any of you I'm used boring, Tinder? Though. I did it for like. Like a hot second, and it was a mess. <laughs> but you know I who was on there? Gunrock has a profile. Bernie Sanders has a profile. Coho Hot Dogs had a profile at one point. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know, people actually use it to promote stuff too. Yeah. I, I don't know, like I've had, like I've also had a Tinder for a hot second, maybe longer, two hot seconds. <laughs> um, but I also had it there and like a lot of people also like promote their stuff. I think it's pretty funny. I think it's like part of culture now. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's on there for I've reason. had professors tell me they have Tinder accounts. Oh, oh really? Like, oh, I had a philosophy professor and he was like, yeah, I'm in was my mid thirties, oh, yeah. Okay. So that I was like, I might as well try it. Like, what have I got to lose? And everyone in the classroom was like, why did you say that? <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> Poor oh guy. God. I would never do it again. Never? No. Never again. Such What's the experience. most dramatic thing that you saw on Tinder? Or like, what was the most, like, is there like drama going on? No, it wasn't on? drama. Oh, I know, I'm so like, innocent. <laughs> not like drama, no, but it's yeah. just like people being like unnecessarily inappropriate. Yeah. Like not even sexually inappropriate, yeah. it's just like in general being inappropriate. What does that mean? Well, because... Like, for, for example, you know, if you're on Tinder and, like, you match with a lot of people, right? Um, you maybe get, like, this is really weird talking about, <laughs> like, 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 talking about like, personal like, how much do you want to know? About? Yeah, I know. Um, but, like, for example, like, they'll, like, if you have, like, eight, like, eight people that are all, like, hey, it's gonna get boring. So people kind of, like, try to spice it up. They'll, like, say things like, I don't know, like, my friend got a really long message, my friend, um, about um, something about like, you know, this guy's from like the Amazon and like he's really excited to be like a warrior for her and stuff and all these oh. things. I was just like, it's kind of like interesting. People like really go to so like- people get creative. Yeah, people get super creative. Obviously it's not true, but yeah. you know, it's funny and it gets your attention. Oh my gosh, you know what you should look up on Instagram? Tinder nightmares. That account is hilarious. <laughs> it's people submitting like like terrible or crazy messages that they've gotten from people on Tinder. I think <laughs> Tinder, like at some point, it's like you're gonna find really, really desperate people on Tinder. No offense, guys. That's why uh, you got off. Because we're not, we're not desperate anymore, I right? Think so. I know so I'm many sorry. people. Some shade. Who, I was, yeah, that was hella shade, Kevin. Um, Kevin, because Kevin's in a relationship. Yeah, Kevin's in a relationship. Some of us don't have relationships, right? Yeah, Kevin. I know a lot of people who met their boyfriends and girlfriends on Tinder. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Swag. Oh. My Super five. Swag. You've been saying that like all morning. <laughs> I have my my five year anniversary is this weekend. God. So, uh, Ugh. so yeah. That's Ugh. so Ugh. Slow claps for you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Congratulations. So you started dating in high we school. We made it, fam. Wow. Yeah, sophomore year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, fam. Yeah. Did it. <laughs> Speaking of Tinder and hooking up. We do have a hookup culture documentary coming out in the next few weeks and is produced by Aggie Studios. We're excited to have y'all watch it, um, so be on the lookout for it. So, moving on, with finals just around the corner, many of us have wondered, is it worth staying at the library for 24 hours? Well, tab writer Thanuj Sutaria stayed in Shields for 24 hours in order to really test his productivity level. So every two hours he wrote exactly what was going on in his mind, and he started pretty strong, but by the end of it, this guy was going batshit crazy. <laughs> he got his homework done in the beginning, and then afterwards it just like turned into him watching Gordon Ramsay and running around the library. So definitely check out the comments that he wrote in the link below. Yeah, wow. what, yeah. Is, what does that mean, running around the library? He started off in the reading room, and then I think he made his way like through different parts of the yeah. library because he was oh, just getting so restless. anxious. Yeah, and he kind of limited himself with the number of naps he took. So to kind of keep his energy up, he was drinking a lot of Red Bull, Ugh. like and just trying to keep his mind. Wait, when was this? Was this like last finals week? Or no, this was recently. No, it was pretty recent. He just wanted yeah. to try it. Oh. He wanted to like figure out like what it was that. like, and he's 
put up some pretty good tips of like what you maybe could do like if you were in there for 24 hours like I think one of the biggest things he mentioned was like bring spare clothes because if you're in there for 24 hours like yeah. yo like it's not even just your smell anymore like when people pass by you like that stuff like attaches to you so I am not a fan like I've only been to the library maybe like three times in my like UC Davis lifetime I don't hang out there yeah, I think I it's know. creepy I think it was really funny I got this story because in my all four years, I have not spent yeah, nearly up to know. 24 hours. Everyone's like, let's go to the library and study. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, I'm always questioning You guys have never too. spent copious amounts of time in the library? I hate no. studying there. Are you guys like writing majors? No. Yeah. Because okay, like all my resources, <laughs> yeah. all the resources I oh, need to use are in the library. Oh, okay. library. So That's I have two 10 page yeah. papers this quarter. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the library for like close to 24 hours this quarter. Wow. I only yeah. usually go during finals week, but I'm only there for like a maximum in a row? Tops? Yeah. Yeah. But yes. like I'm studying. So long. <laughs> I can't do that. But I'm pretty I feel crazy. But it sucks, but then like you see your friends and you're like, hey, let's talk. You can read my paper and tell me I'm going crazy or not. Yeah. So yeah. I just, you know, like the, I think the most interesting so part too is that like it's like even though he wrote about it, the whole 24 hour experience, I bet you there are so many students. There's so many students that probably do that. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. they do the 24 hour thing without like batting an eyelash. Like, yeah, yeah. Have you, uh, <laughs> I had to <laughs> test that out first. Have you been in the bathrooms of the 24 hour reading room? No, because no. I've not even been in the 24 hour <laughs> reading room. <laughs> it kind of looks like Hogwarts. Um, no, that's the uh, reading room. Okay, different. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the, the 24 hour <laughs> reading room. The one downstairs. With, like all the tables. Oh, like the dungeon? Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my god. And then god. like you go in the, the bathroom basement. in there, and every once in a while you're just gonna see some dude like brushing his teeth in there, and you're like, how long have you been here, bro? Oh <laughs> you god. question it. Yeah. You think yeah. about their story. I feel like it's unnatural though to spend that, you know what I mean? You're like basically living in the library. You're like torturing yourself. <laughs> where do you guys see study? sunlight? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, where else do you guys study? Please tell us and get get out of the library so she has to leave. <laughs> and know, Kevin too. I need the library, don't take me. <laughs> In order to encourage students to register to vote and further the Bernie Sanders campaign, Davis Students for Bernie Sanders brought along Rock Campus, which, ju which does just that, but with a little help from celebrities. Kendrick Sampson from Vampire Diaries and How to Get Away with Murder, and Max Carver from Desperate Housewives, Teen Wolf, and The Leftovers reeled in numerous students to register last Wednesday, May 18th. However, Sampson and Carver said that most of the students they tried to reach out to were already registered, unlike most schools they visited, which I think is a good sign, and leading to Carver calling that UC Davis students are sexy because of that. So, well, you know, thanks Carver. Feel the burn. We're sexy. I wish I was there. <laughs> you know, I was feeling the burn. But um, yeah, I looked up, I didn't know who these actors were, and then I looked them, and then I looked them up, but actually I did know um, yes. Kendrick Sampson, and he is super feel He's the burn. Super, yeah. <laughs> I so if you're I, if you're watching legit, this, Kendrick yeah, Sampson, so, swipe left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Not sure where you are on that Tinder right? profile list. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe, right. Swipe, right. Swipe, swipe to me. Swipe left to everyone else. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. That man huh? is a beautiful man. Yeah. No, for real, he is, dude. You see yeah, him he's, on um, he's really How to Get Away with Murder. Oh my God. God. He's um, he's the reason why you watch How I to follow, Get Away with Murder. I follow him on Instagram. Yeah. yeah, I think it's awesome that they're going out and like trying to rally students. Yeah, yeah Shailene, really cool. went, Shailene Woodley went to Brown University yeah. and then she went was in San Diego, I think, last year. San Cruz. She, she was Santa, Santa Cruz, Cruz, yeah. Danny yeah. DeVito is at Santa Barbara. Dude, nice. Mm -hmm. I want Danny DeVito here. But I'm pretty proud as an Aggie that when they said that most of the students they had talked to yeah. were already registered, that means we're using our voice to do something. Yeah. So Let's say. I'm really happy about Let's that. Say. So good job, Aggies. Go out and vote. We're the best. Aggie, so. I mean, you're, we're, yeah. this campus is like feeling the burn 100%, so. And thanks to Kendrick Sampson and Max Carver for coming <laughs> over. For our final episode, we're introducing one of our newest segments that you'll get to stick around to see next year, Aggie Now Tries, where we go out into Davis to try new and interesting things that students can enjoy during their time in town. So this week we have Kevin and Israel um, going out to try Brazilian-style samba music used in carnival festivities throughout Brazil. Check it out. Hey, I'm Kevin Dusa. And I'm Israel Yepes. And we're Aggie Tries Samba Music. This is Ian and this is Ali. They're going to teach us how to play.
final episode of the year. I've been Kevin Dusa. I'm Nika Magahis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Aisha Basine. And I'm Miguel Bagsit. Thank you so much for sticking with us for this entire year. Um, it's been incredible, just so y'all know, you know, we started Aggie Now at a Whole Foods. We met there all together over the summer and this happened. So uh, it's been an incredible um, experience. Um, thank you for allowing us to be with you. Um, and we just want to say a big shout out to everyone involved, our cast and crew, our amazing directors, and all of our anchors and writers and everyone who was involved. This has been such a crazy, rough, tough, and just super fun experience all around. So thank you. Thanks for sticking around. We will see y'all next year. We won't be seeing y'all next year because we are graduating, but you'll definitely Bye. have some new anchors coming in and some returning faces. So once again, thank you so much. For the last time, this has been an episode of Aggie Now.